One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hello, my name is Kim Vasquez, and today I'm going to talk to you guys about a traditional quinceanera. A quinceanera, to the outsider looking in, may just look like a huge party, but in fact, a quinceanera has many religious meanings and symbolic meanings, and today I'm going to talk to you about where it originates from, the symbolic meanings, and what a quinceanera is. A quinceanera is a traditionally um, Catholic ceremony, but some Christians have taken on the ceremony as well. A quinceanera stems from the word quince, which means 15 in English, and the quinceanera is celebrated on a young girl's 15th birthday, and it symbolizes a young girl turning into a young woman, and this is the day that she is debuted. It originates from an Aztec culture, and in Aztec culture, the young girl was not considered a woman until she, or it was not considered a human until her 15th birthday. And on this date, she was presented to the tribe to hopeful suitors. Today, we don't do it as for hopeful suitors. We do it to celebrate our young girl turning into a woman. Um, it, as conquerors took over the Aztecs, the Aztecs, were, the Aztec ceremony was converted into Christianity. The Aztecs dance was taken over, changed with the waltz, and the church, or I'm sorry, the, the, the temple was taken over by the church. Today, it binds the cultures of heritage, the culture and heritage of Latinos and unites their families and friends. I spoke with a little girl recently who celebrated her quinceanera, and she explained to me the different ways that her family was able to get involved and participate. The, um, they were able to participate participate by being a sponsor for the quinceanera, um, or they were able to give the symbolic gifts. Another way that they were able to participate was by decorating the, the, for the ceremony. On the special day, she will wear a special dress. As you can see, this dress is similar to a wedding dress, but there are some differences. It's usually pastel in color, and um, she, it's, it's, it has a tight bustier and goes out into a bell shape. Um, but different girls decide to do different things. Um, the the quinceanera girl will ce will celebrate with her 14 friends. These 14 friends um, are <coughs> young women around her age, and they can, they represent each year of her life. Those young girls are escorted by young men called chambalans, and they practice a dance or waltz for the special ceremony during the reception. The mass is the most important part of the entire ceremony. Before the young girl is able to have a quinceanera, she must take special classes to help her in her relationship with God. During the ceremony itself, she renews her vows to God, and her parents give thanks to God. Um, under tradition, the Mass was usually held on Sunday, but nowadays, people can have the quinceanera on whatever day that it's convenient for them. The, um, during, the during the ceremony, she's given gifts. One is a tear, and it represents a princess before God. Um, she's given a scripture in her hand to show her role as an adult, um, in the religious community. She's also given a Bible and, and rosary, and it's a tools that she will use to help her relationship in God. She's also given earrings to have her ears open to the Word of God. She will have a ring that represents the circle of life and a medallion, which is a reminder of the special day. The medallion can be the number 15th or a religious ceremony like I have up here. Another thing that she is given, she gives a gift to the Virgin Mary, um, a gift of a bouquet of roses. This Virgin Mary is very important to them because it's someone for them to look up to and idolize. The last thing that she has is the quinceanera doll. The quinceanera doll is passed down under tradition to the youngest sibling in the family. It could be a sister, it could be a cousin, um, and she passes that down and it symbolizes her passing down her childish ways and becoming a young woman. But nowadays they like to keep it as a souvenir. During the reception, is the most funnest part of the whole ceremony. Um, during this reception, the quinceanera girl will celebrate with her chambalan <coughs> and her dadas. They will share a waltz together. Along with that, she'll have share her dance with her father. This is a very symbolic time, an emotional time for her father and for the young girl, because this is when the father realizes that his little girl is no longer a little girl, that she's now a young woman. And it, she realizes herself too. During the reception, there's they have food, they have drinks, they have, um, they have um, cake. Um, what you decide to serve is upon what you decide. You can serve barbecue and you can serve Spanish food. You're not left to one thing. So, as you can see, a quinceanera 
is not just a huge party. There's a symbolic meaning. It's a, it's a symbolic heritage that brings family and members and um, friends close together. And if you were able to ever invite it to a quinceañera, you should feel privileged as you were part of the family. Um, they celebrate the quinceañera just as Americans celebrate a sweet 16. And um, like I said, if you guys ever get invited to a quinceañera, you should feel like you're part of the family. And if you ever have any questions on what a quinceañera is, you can go to bellaonline.com and you can go to therosedress.com and they had a lot of helpful information about a quinceañera. Do I have any questions? Yeah, I have one. Does she have to have 14 damas and chambalayas? No, the, the young girl doesn't have to have 14 damas and 15, or 14 chambalayas. It's up to her. She can have 10 girls and 10 boys or she can have 5 boys and 5 girls. Um, it just is up to her discretion. Traditionally, how, um, how much money is actually spent on a quinceanera? Um, a quinceanera can vary from price. If you decide to have a re reception, it, the cost will be a lot more. But quinceaneras can run anywhere from $5,000 to as much as $20,000. It just depends on how much you want to put into it. And Any more questions? Um, you had um, mentioned that traditionally they wear pastel colors. Can they wear other colors besides? Um, as tradition has changed, just as they used to have the ceremonies on Sundays, tradition has also changed. The girl is able to have more of her personality shine in her dress and in the color she chooses. Um, I've seen colors that vary from hot pink, hot green, and even black. So it's just a way for the girl to show who she is. Um, and whatever she wants to use is what she wants to use. Do I have any more questions? Thank you very much. Have a good day. Thank you.